Good evening everyone. Today is April 23rd, 2018. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send cryptocurrency from your GDAX account to your KuCoin account. A few things I want to get out of the way before we get started. The first is I'm not a financial professional or advisor, so the contents of this video should not be interpreted as such. Uh, the second thing is you will need a GDAX account, so that is an exchange. It's uh, essentially the same company as Coinbase. The third thing is you will need a KuCoin account. If you don't have accounts through GDAX or KuCoin, I've got links to both in the description of this video. Um, and that's basically it. So uh, real quick, why would you want an account at a place like KuCoin? I am not going to make the argument for KuCoin in particular, but basically there are exchanges like KuCoin and also KuCoin, and they have a much broader selection of cryptocurrencies that you can purchase from. These are selections that are far broader than what's available in Coinbase and GDAX and Gemini and any other major uh, cryptocurrency exchange. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. So what I want to do today is I want to send Ether from GDAX to KuCoin. So uh, I'm already in logged into GDAX. I'm in the section that's for Ethereum to US dollars and I want to send this amount so my full balance to um, my KuCoin account uh, so go, what I'll do is I will go ahead and um, click on withdraw because when you're trying to transfer out of a GDAX account you are withdrawing and I'll say I want to withdraw to an F address okay so now uh, I need to put in the amount so I'll just put in the max so you can click on max and it'll automatically populate and now I need an ethereum address so in KuCoin uh, that basically looks like this I'm at the home page okay and the next thing I need to do is I need to go to uh, look for ether so I'll click on actually let's go ahead and say deposit and uh, I need to pick the so it brings me here. I have to pick the coin I want to deposit. So I want to deposit Ether. And just read the fine print. It says, please pay attention. The coin you selected is Ethereum. Please do not mistakenly deposit other assets with the same name. Or you won't be able to retrieve your funds. So what this means is for those of you who are still pretty new, if you are sending any particular cryptocurrency between addresses, the addresses you have to send from have to be specific to that cryptocurrency so in this example what that means is i have to send ether from my gdax ether wallet to my kucoin ether wallet if they are not both ether wallets i will lose my ether so i'm in kucoin i've got the ethereum wallet address so i'll go ahead and click on copy uh, i don't recommend trying to like manually typing this in that way I prefer to do the copy and paste so I copied it and I'll go ahead and paste it into here something I usually do that I won't do today but usually I will um, just double check the address real quick spot check it make sure there's no typos and I'll usually send like a test transaction so I might send like 0.01 ether to make sure that I'm sending it to the right place that way if uh, I screw up I only lose like 0.01 ether versus the full amount but I'm pretty comfortable with this so I'm not going to send a test transaction so I have the destination there and now I need to put in a two-factor code and they just sent me a um, they meaning um, GDAX sent me a verification code to my cell phone so I'm just typing that in and I'll say withdraw funds and it says your withdrawal for this much ether has been initiated so now we'll wait about 30 minutes or so uh, and wait for it to show up on the KuCoin side 
So I came back to uh, my KuCoin account and I can see that that amount is coming through. It's still pending because it's going through all the different confirmations. But this basically means uh, that I have received the Ether and that's essentially how you send Ether from GDAX to KuCoin. Uh, relatively straightforward once you do this enough times, uh, but definitely uh, an interesting concept to wrap your head around when you're first getting started. With that said, that's all there is to this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and use the comment section. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks for your time and have a good evening. Bye.